Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a question for you today. I want you to think about this. When you're bidding a project, how confident are you that you've included all of your cost? Hmm. So here's the thing, in this video here today, we're gonna to be talking about how to bid a project. We're talking about the numbers and some of the things that you need to make sure you're including in those bids so that you don't go over budget on your projects, okay? And by the end of this video, I'm gonna leave you with mm, three or so, I may give you more because I ramble, right, of things that you wanna make sure you're including in your bid costs. All right, so are you ready for this? So of course this means you wanna take some notes and write this stuff down, right? Digitally, paper, pencil, whatever works for you, but you wanna make sure you're including these numbers in your bids because it will affect your bottom line, all right? So real quick, for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Felicia Streeter over at FeliciaStreeter.com and the Contractor's Edge Bootcamp. So make sure you go check that out. So let's dive into how to bid a project so that you're not over budget. Okay? So we're talking about the numbers. And what I want to talk about today is your overhead costs. Most of the time when we're doing a bid, we're pretty confident in including our cost, Right? our cost to um, deliver the project, like uh, if we have subcontractors, because they give us the cost, so we know to include that, right? If we have to get supplies or equipment, we know to include costs like that. But here's what we forget is the overhead cost. Overhead cost. And I'm going to run some things off to you. Uh, I do have some notes here, but most of these are going to ramble right off my head because I know what they are. So a lot of times we forget travel costs, like per diem. Uh, if you have someone going back and forth to a local project, if it's so far, you know, per diem for gas, mileage, right? Use, use of a truck or a car, whatever they're using, that kind of thing. And even for yourself as the business owner, there's cost associated with going back and forth to the site. Another thing is admin costs. So Although you may have cost on the project, on the physical project, but what about back office costs, right? So, excuse me, so like your admin person that has to do the paperwork, they're doing the billing, uh, they're uh, interacting with contractors, they have to do the uh, certified payroll, they're submitting the invoice to the uh, government, you know, they're doing a lot of work associated with that particular project. So there's cost associated with that. Here's another thing. Most of you probably already have your G&L insurance, general liability insurance, right? Overall umbrella for your company. But a portion of that could go to the project because you have to have G&L insurance for the project, right? Another thing is bonding. That's another cost you want to make sure you're including if you have to have bonding, okay? So you always want to think about direct costs, that's direct to the project, as well as the indirect cost. And that's where a lot of people lose money is on the indirect cost and not including that in the initial bid, okay? So that's very, very important. Very, very important. And if you've experienced bidding one thing and saying, okay, this is what my profit margin is gonna be, and then at the end, it kinda all fall bottom out, and you're like, oh my gosh, our profit is just going away, it's going away, what are we gonna do? You gotta bid better, you gotta make sure you're including all cost. And if you need help with that, definitely check out the Contractor's Edge Bootcamp, because it's all about bidding that first um, contract fast, as well as correctly. So we wanna get you there as quickly as possible, all right? So if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, give me a like. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we wanna share all this knowledge with everyone because here's the thing, there is enough to go around. We can't all do all the projects out there, not one company, not five companies, okay? So it's okay to share. It's okay to share the knowledge, share information, okay? So make sure you like, subscribe, and then if you need some help with bids in any shape, form, or fashion, private bids as well as bidding for the government, it's pretty much the same thing. But if you need help in that area, definitely check out the Contractor's Edge Boot Camp. 
we are going live really soon with that. All right. Talk to you soon. Have an awesome rest of your day and come back next week. Bye.